the suburbs. Peaceful neighborhoods with well-groomed houses and happy-faced families. Welcome to Mayfield Place, where suburbanite Ray Peterson is spending his week's vacation at home, here in the Burbs. And at... Punchline and Big plays family man Ray Peterson, who suspects that all is not well in suburbia. What the suburbs are supposed to be is this idyllic place that you go to live. You know, I, I think we should move. You know, you have your house and you have your land and you stay there and it's a great place to retire to. It's a great place to raise a family. Uh, that's what the suburbs are supposed to be. But in fact, in the last 20 years or so, the suburbs have become this place where anything can happen. Art's got a gun. Your neighbors are your neighbors, and, and you have to, you don't have to like them, but you have to respect them to a point, because they live right next door to you. Ray and his wife, Carol, played by Carrie Fisher, share the neighborhood with the Rumsfields, played by Wendy Schall and Bruce Dern. Just next door is Art Weingartner, played by newcomer, stand-up comedian Rick Dukeman. And down the block is Walter, played by veteran actor Gail Gordon, and Corey Feldman as Ricky, the kid across the street. But there's something not right on Mayfield Place, and the neighbors are getting edgy. Ray! Ray! Ray, come here! There's something different, mysterious, suspicious, something odd, very odd. What is it? There's a new family on the block. This is my neighbor. And this once peaceful suburban neighborhood just hasn't been the same since the Clopex moved in. We have these, uh, these neighbors that no one knows what they're up to. I saw them in the backyard. Digging. Kind of like grave diggers. They could be, you know, anything from insomniacs who are lazy. No one goes in. No one comes out. Or, uh, you know, suburban psycho killers who have a, you know, a death factory in their, in their basement. Let me just say this, okay? When they do whatever they do with what they have in the basement of this house, my power goes out in my house. Nothing your neighbor should be able to do in his basement should make your power go out. Uh, isn't that a basic premise of America? What the hell was that? Out. They're grim folks. They got a bleak house. I, I don't know, you know, what's going on in it. You know, there's a lot of weird, weird stuff going on. Kid comes out in the car and dumps the trash in the can at night and beats it with a hole. What is that? That ain't normal. People in neighborhoods, they don't want this going on in the neighborhood. I've never seen that. I've never seen anybody drive their garbage down to the street and then bang the hell out of it with a stick on. I've never seen that. Ray, do you want them to take your family, kidnap them, tear their livers out, and make some kind of satanic pate? When these two guys get together, they just uh, revert back to behavior that is, I think, normally confined to high school boys. Ray, unconscious chanting. You're chanting. I want to kill everyone. Satan is good. Satan is our pal. Or even pre-high school. Ray, this is Walter. No! Dante, who shot the film entirely on the famed backlot of Universal Studios, found the Burbs to be a story with a unique view of suburban America and its residents. When I first read this, uh, I thought it was an interesting sort of study on paranoia. Why so edgy? Come on. Come on, decaf. Come on. They're daring each other to ring the doorbell. You shouldn't stare like this. 
Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll go in with you. Sure, right. As I talked to people uh, uh, during the making of the picture, I found that a lot of people uh, seem to, at one time in their lives or another, have had somebody on their block who everybody talked about. Yeah. And uh, I've been doing kind of large canvas, big uh, spectacle kind of movies lately, and um, this seemed to uh, seem like something offbeat. B marker. And action. My description of it has been sort of the, uh, it's a psychodrama comedy. You know, hopefully they've all done our jobs well enough, so this movie will be funny enough to be a comedy. At the same time, bizarre enough to be some other kind of movie. I'm going over the fence. Until I find a dead body.